Hello Aries and welcome to the channel. This is Aries Season Energy Check-In. If I had my sound effects, I would clap it up for you. Happy birthday Aries. Welcome to your season. Um, of course, this season finds the sun shining in your first house. So it is go time, lovelies. It's go time. Let's get it. This is going to be the energy check-in. Okay. The energy check-in for sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, let's go ahead and get started. This month is go month, okay? We have a lot of astrology going on this week. Um, we got Jupiter joining the party. We also have Pluto that's going to be moving into um, Aquarius, which is going to be in podcast form for you guys. Um, we got a jam-packed week. Not as um, crazy as last week. <laughs> we have a new moon tomorrow. All right, we will be doing our moon pools. So we will have a lot of podcasts. It's been a very heavy podcast month only because of all of the um, significant um, astrology that's going on. Typically, I do track the moon new and full. But um, when I feel like there's something significant to tell you, um, I do highlight Mars. I will highlight Venus. I will highlight Mercury, of course. Um, won't necessarily do pods on them, but there's been some very significant, again, astro, uh, um, astrology going on. So that's that I did take the liberty of pre shuffling the cards just to get, make these go a little bit quicker and your energy is pulling down this month, walking away. So you are in the energy of 27. What does 27 mean to you? Two plus seven is nine. The immediate card that I got in tarot as a reference is the nine of wands. You are the wounded warrior for something in your life. But ultimately, you are going to finally make the decision this month to walk away from no lo what no longer serves you, um, Aries. OK, and this can apply to you, whether this is your Aries, sun, moon, rising or Venus. You are letting go and you are moving on from something that no longer serves you. Let's go ahead and get a couple of cards. It's going to be a little quickie read for your energy. And we're going to go and find out a little bit more about what you could be walking away from. What you could be experiencing. Just in, you know, short form format and go from there. Okay. Everything that you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. Interested in connecting? That information is down there as well. Give me Aries collective energy. Yes, that's a good indicator that you're going to be walking away. Um, and this indicates you're going to be sorry for shaking the table, flying away, taking some type of vacation. All right. I thought something had showed itself. Um, possibly taking travel back home or reconnecting with someone um, on a, from a love perspective. Um, someone coming back. Wow. Thank you, spirit back into your life all right there's our top we did get more than one card to come out i only wanted three but that's okay um definitely some of you are going to be taking a trip um journey over water for some of you guys okay um it looks like um you know as you can see this individual here is on some type of boat <laughs> Um, there is obvious, where's my wand? Here we go. There is obviously, um, a journey over water. This is recovery. This is moving away, um, in a sense of things that no longer, uh, serve you, um, you know, physically move movement. Okay. Um, swords represent, you know, your thoughts, Aries, Leo, sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Um, this could have a strong tie to something with home. Um, something that's familiar, something that you've always known, um, some type of um, significant chapter closing in your life. This is something that you've thought about for a long time. All right. With four swords, you've quietly contemplated how you were going to put an end to something. All right. And now it looks like you're finally doing it. I'm going to move that over. It was only supposed to be one more card, but we did have another one that come out, came out. Um, so you definitely have been in your head about whatever this thing is. 
All right. Um, and I can definitely see some of the mental challenges that this thing that you're walking away from person, place, or thing has brought you. Um, it's been a hell of a battle, an up, uh, uh, an upscale, uh, uphill battle, upscale, uphill battle for you, Aries, period. It's been a hell of a battle. Do you hear me? A hell of a battle. Um, Knight of Swords, and then we got more swords with Paige. All right, so there's been um, obstacles with this thing, person, place, or thing. Um, there could be definitely a child. We do have a child here. Maybe some of you guys are walking away from, you know, a relationship that bared a child. This represents obstacles or just news, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back news that you're getting or that you have received, okay? Let's go ahead and look at what happened in the past. You were, you were on the fence about this. You didn't know what you wanted to do. Hey, man indicates that, you know, you didn't do anything in the past about it, but now you're definitely taking action in your season. All right. Now you're definitely taking action in your season. We're going to end this with five clarifiers. They can apply to anything. All right. I didn't want to go. It's general. It's all about energy. So wherever the cards take us, that's exactly what we're going to where we're going to go. All right. So it's definitely clear. OK, that. You're walking away something that was familiar to you, something that felt like home to you, something that caught that has caused you a great deal of pain, something people, per, uh, people, places or things that have definitely hurt you. Um, you, you, you were in your head about whatever this thing was in the past. All right. You were in your head about it. Quietly contemplating. What do I do? And I'm telling you, this has a very strong Libra, Gemini, Aquarius reference. Okay. Shyness. Hands of time. That's, that's turning out to be romantic. I may not go with these money issues. Yeah, this is a, this is my love that this is not what I wanted. Given a gift and getting to know you. I'm going to give you those as a bonus. These are not the cards that I wanted. I didn't want this to be romantic. <laughs> you like, okay, Marv, really? No, I didn't actually. I don't even know. I, I, I do like that, um, that card that is talking about money issues. I don't know if I want to do these either. I'm not really getting the the clarifiers that I want. I'm not. This is all romantic. So I'm going to go in with one of these really, really big. And this is not an oracle card. I'm not happy about the selection. I'm going to go in with another tarot card. Because I need just something to touch. Okay. Well, Jesus. Yeah, you're awakening. Yep, look at that. Ego, the hermit. Look at all of this. Your birthday bonus. Look at that. You're coming into something, inspiration, communication, and making adjustments. Hermit energy. Introspection, self-discovery, and mentorship. Taking time to yourself. Ego. Look at that. Illusion, dependency, and materialism. You're leaving all of this. Look at that. Balance, prioritization, and playfulness. And finally, the awakening. Paul's perspective and selflessness. That's not how I wanted to round this out, but I'm telling you that you're walking away from something. You just got a whole romance read and everything for the for the free, didn't you? Um, this is what I'm I'm feeling here. Okay, let me see if I like these. No, I don't really like those either. All right, I guess this is where we're gonna leave it. You definitely are walking away from something. Um, I like this energy for you. Um, of course, the sun is shining in your in your first house. 
All right. This is your your son, your time to get it. OK, it, it's time. And, you know, you will figure out what this is. It definitely has some love connotations, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this is you doing a lot of thinking. I will say that. A lot of thinking about what the hell is going on. All right. What has transpired? Walking away. Well, I hope this message finds you well. We do not have any major arcanas. I hope that this works out for you, Aries. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.